I'm definitely watching. So, um, having the have nots, I cried. So I'm going to go ahead and just, just put it out there. We need the movie, Tyler Perry. We need to see what the next thing is. We need to see what happens on the have and have nots. We need to see who's dead, who ain't dead. We need to see the funeral services. We need to see who made it, who got it out. So please let me go ahead and speak that into, exi into existence. Having the have nots movies out by January, the latest March of 2022. Come on, Tyler, you got that production studio. Make it happen. We need to see the funerals. We need to see Wyatt's funeral. We need to see uh, Catherine's funeral. We need to see Jim's funeral. You know, we need to see if Candace is really dead or can somebody do some CPR and get that water up out her body. OK, we need to see if she's really dead. They, nobody did CPR on her. So I think I think, you know, I, I, I'm just praying. But. When y'all took Benny out. I was hollering in my house. I was hollering. I was hollering. Because we need the movie. This is why we need the movie. We need to see if the white girl going to be convicted for Benny's death. Okay? That's what we need to see. We need to see that. Because we know that, you know, that dude that took him out, we need to see him get taken out. Because... He was supposed to take Benny out and he still didn't do it. He didn't do it. He didn't do it. He had he had three other people do it. Now, Benny came into a little money. Right. You know, sister blessed him with some coin. And he bought that house. Yeah, he smashed a girl, but that's not what was going on when her man came around. That's what that wasn't going on. Benny was trying to get that house and, and be a gentleman and say, hey, you know, since you helped me, you helped me get a house. Yeah, this was a quick, easy process. Let's go ahead. Let me sign my papers. Let me sign everything I need to sign. And I'm going to take you out for dinner. Thank you. Well, her man rolls up because a man been stalking her. A man been following her. A man is mad because she aborted a child when they was together. Now, this man still feels is that he's together with her for life. And that's not in her plans. She can't move on. She can't date. She can't get a man. She can't get a boyfriend. But, you know, when she met Benny, you know, there was an attraction there. But she played it off like she wasn't attracted. And Benny put the moves on her. Benny smashed her. And Benny actually cared about her because he knew that she was in an abusive relationship, that she was in a verbally and physically abusive relationship. Benny loved his mama. Benny loved his sister. Benny ain't going to let that go down on his watch. So as he signed his paperwork, her dude pulled up. He put Benny put paws on him, beat him down in front of everybody. He went back to his family with his ass whooped. Went to the hospital with his ass whooped. Now he want revenge because he got his ass whooped because he assumed. He assumed that they was fucking. So since he put it out in the air, it happened. It happened. And... Girl, why do you keep your work files at home? You should, you should, after he signed that paperwork, you should have took that shit to the office. You should have took it to the office. Because he would have never knew where he really lived at if you ain't had that paperwork at home. Now, we need the movie, Tyler. We need it. Because I need to know if, Kath I know Catherine Cryer did. We need, to, we need to know if she dead or is just her windpipe broke. Like, we, we you know, we need we need some answers. I need to see funeral services. We need and and listen. As ruthless and savage as Veronica Harrington was, she was a bad one. She was my favorite character, actually. <laughs> she was my favorite 
Um, Madison was my favorite, one of my favorite characters on the show. Definitely uh, Candace Tika Sumpner. She was also one of my favorite characters. Benny um, was one of my favorite characters as well. But, you know, all of those are like my tops. Um, and I'm going to give Hannah too because I like Hannah. I really like Hannah. Hannah, listen, Hannah said in this season finale, look, she ain't going out like no punk. Okay. Hannah said that she was tired of y'all messing with her and, and trying to beat up on her because she was telling people right. She was quoting Bible scriptures. She was doing all of that. She was trying to tell y'all that we was in spiritual warfare and nobody listened to Hannah. Nobody listened to Hannah. Nobody listened to Hannah. Hannah was the maid. Hannah was the maid, and look, Hannah got all the money now. Hannah was the power, uh, she was the power of attorney for Catherine Cryer. She's sitting on all that money that Catherine Cryer had, and that was some long money for generations and generations and generations. That's why she was trying to get rid of Jim. Sorry, y'all, I'm sitting outside. Jim wanted her money. Jim wanted her money. And Jim was so greedy and stole his son's money for his inheritance. Stole his son's money, $8 million, and Candace stole it. As soon as he stole it, Candace stole it. And Candace been sitting on that $8 million. She gave her brother some money. She gave him a couple mil. So he can get his stuff off the ground, his tow business again, a truck, a house. Candace set him up nice. But we need the movie because I need to know the president's reaction if Candace is dead. Because we all know that Candace told that she was pregnant. Now, she was pregnant from the president. Y'all know, if y'all watch it, having to have knives, y'all know Candace was pregnant. Candace is pregnant by the, by, the, uh, by the elect. And he knows. So, Tyler, we need the having to have knives movie by March 2022. Because, look, I need to see the funerals. I need to see the funeral services. I need to see what Han Hannah got now after everybody is dead. We need to see Hannah find out about Benny because she knew about Candace, but she don't know about Benny yet. So come on, Tyler. Let's let's get it. And then, Tyler, you should actually put Medea in this, too. You should put Medea in this, too. So, yeah, we need to have and have nots and we need Medea to show up. And, 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 you know, cause you know, having to have knots has some jokes. Veronica had jokes. Okay. All the time she had jokes. She was always throwing digs. She was always doing this. She was always doing that, but she was my favorite character and she threw her weight around because she knew the power she had. She knew the power she had and, and low key, low key, educated, very materialistic, rock red bottoms. Every episode drove a Maserati. But if you got on her bad side, she got thug with you. She got real thug with you.